Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, in true end of year style, I wanted to basically do a reflection video. So last year, 2020, beginning of 2020, I literally did a year's tarot reading. And if I'm completely honest with you, it was pretty accurate, I'm not even gonna lie. I definitely wanna go through it with you guys um, in this video, sort of do a little reflection on the year, because I've had my monthly gratitude here. So I was just gonna go through that with you guys as well, and then also go into my 2021 yearly spread as well. So let's get straight into it, shall we? Now I do actually have a picture on my phone of the spread, I think it's on my Instagram, um, which I'm gonna go and check out so that I can kind of go through it with you guys. My January on the spread, my January was the Wheel of Fortune. My monthly gratitude, my January gratitude was that I became a supervisor. So this is where I got the promotion at my job to become a supervisor. Um, which is obviously the Wheel of Fortune, especially because 2019 Christmas was highly, highly intense. Um, I was extremely, extremely in a... I was in quite a bit of a low place at that point. I was very, very unhappy, um, really, really stressed at work and all of that kind of stuff. And in January, I became a supervisor. So Wheel of Fortune, that makes complete sense. So for my February, that was the four of pentacles now the four of pentacles stands for like holding on too tightly um and just being a little bit you know being a bit cautious and in february for me that's when i started my arbonne business that's when i joined arbonne and i remember the feeling because i literally joined on the last day of february which was a leap year this year in 2020 so that was 29th of february at like nine o'clock at night that's when i joined and i remember that that month feeling very much like okay like i need you know kai and i had just had the conversation of like we need to seriously start saving for our house um, all of that kind of stuff started to get into into real play and I remember having that conversation and being like okay I need some sort of like a little bit of extra income or something and that is when I joined Arbonne, started my Arbonne business. So then, <laughs> this is where I find it really funny because my March was the tower and in March everything went crazy. That's when we went into the first lockdown and my March gratitude is my business business growth. So I literally remember looking at that and going, that is so insane because March, literally my entire world went upside down. Like we, I'd been put on furlough. We went into, you know, we went into lockdown. I'd been put on furlough. I didn't know what was going on. My whole life had literally been flipped upside down. And um, I just ended up spending my time just really diving into my business and, um, I saw that business growth in March and I did see that, you know, starting to pick up a bit of momentum. I didn't know what I was doing, but there was a lot of momentum. <laughs> and then April for me is the chariot. And the chariot is like tension, a lot of like, yeah, it was a lot of ag aggressive tension, all that kind of stuff. And April for me, I went into area qualification, which is like the second level of Arbon, which is so not typical that's really not typical to do that in, and have such an insane growth like that um and i remember that month was really really intense <laughs> it was a yeah it was it was intense that month so may for me on my cards was the two of pentacles which is kind of like about juggling and um that is where my business dipped a little bit because I had not, I hadn't really um, began to, you know, grow my network in that aspect. And so, you know, all of the clients, you know, I had didn't really need any other products because, you know, our skincare lasts so long and all that kind of stuff. So I had to start growing my network. And I remember it being very much like trying to juggle like new tasks alongside old like you know how to actually run my business normally and then all of the sort of like also growing my network and that kind of stuff and started to consider like making youtube videos again and all of that kind of jazz um 
and my May, my monthly gratitude for May is growing my network. That's where I really started to expand my network, meet new people, all of that kind of stuff. My June is the lovers. And the lovers is all about, you know, like love, collaboration, doing all of that kind of stuff. It's a very positive vibe. And in June, that's when I started to take up skating, um, quad skating, roller skating. And I remember literally just my mindset completely changing at that point because um, I'd taken up a new hobby and it was like learning something completely new. And as I was skating more and more and more, I could see my progression more and more and more. And I kind of took that as a metaphor to my business because obviously having a network marketing business was completely new to me. This The, the network marketing industry is completely new to me and was at that point. Like I'm still learning about it and I'm definitely, you know, getting better as the day goes on. A day, as the, you know, months and time goes on, I definitely am getting better. But um, yeah, it was kind of like I, I used the fact that I'd taken on a new hobby as like a metaphor in the sense that like, you know, this is something completely new and each day I do it, I get better. So that's where my mind, si mind shift, mind shift sort of happened in the sense of like every day, a little bit every day, make improvement and progress. And then my July is the sun, which is optimism, happiness, all of that kind of positive energy. And I literally remember having like, yeah, monthly gratitude for July is spending time outdoors because this is when we like the um, lockdown rules here in the UK started to get a bit less um intense shall we say and uh, i'd gone back to work i think in june i think june 15th i had potentially gone back to work i can't remember now and then in july obviously spending time outdoors it was the long summers and the weather was so beautiful and i was so grateful to be able to spend that time with my friends because we'd literally been on lockdown for three months so it was nice to have that time outdoors and spend time with friends. We started playing frisbee and softball and all that kind of stuff and it was good fun. And then my August is, yeah, so Ace of Pentacles, which is like a gift of opportunity, uh, a gift of financial opportunity or something like that. And for me in August, my gratitude was having my holiday time and that I did my first DIY. That was, um, I had the two weeks where I was able to really... <laughs> focus on filming and doing all that kind of stuff and I really loved having those two weeks off. Um, I did film a few DIYs although I lost the footage. Still, I did film them <laughs> and it's fine. Yes, yeah, so then my September stands for the High Priestess which that basically like means secrets unveiled and like truth be told and that kind of stuff like things coming out that you needed to know or hear. And in September, my gratitude is taking the first steps to a better work life. Um, and what that stood for is in September, we had um, the Arbonne's annual conference in uh, called AAC, Arbonne Am Annual Conference. And it was during that one of the speakers was talking about, you know, progression and commitment to your business and how you need to be doing it every day. And how if you may, it may potentially be that, you know, because you're, when you're comfortable where you are and things are kind of easier, it's a lot harder to go for something that makes you feel uncomfortable. And if you've got a plan B, if you have that stability there, sometimes it, you you don't put the necessary work that needs to be put in play because you're good, if that makes sense. And that was the point where it really hit me that I was using my job, my job in retail, as like that security, that sort of safety blanket. Um, and I would use it as an excuse out of my own personal fear to not go for what I wanted to do, build my business, build my YouTube channel, do all of that kind of stuff because my job was giving me the stability and all that kind of stuff. And I remember after that conference, I came back to work and I spoke to my um, manager and I just said, yeah, I, at the time I was potentially going for the assistant manager role and um was training up for that and i remember going there and being like okay i i know that this is what i was going for but i really can't do this and i was doing that out of a place of fear um and it was like my plan b but it's just like i'm not ha i'm not going to be happy doing that role it's going to take me away from everything that i enjoy everything that i'm wa wanting to do and stuff like that and i remember having that conversation and being so grateful for having that conversation because it was like the first step for me that i needed to take to you know towards my my actual future that i want 
so that one was really crazy because it was like the secret had like come out in me where I was like <gasps> oh my god that makes sense um and then October is father of swords um so the king of swords is an authoritative figure firm but fair the firm but fair like action taker all of that kind of stuff like it's all about yeah basically just taking the actions necessary um with uh a firmness into your decisions almost if that makes sense and in october for me that is where i made the decision to transfer stores yeah so i became a supervisor in a different store uh for more money as well it's a bigger store bigger team slightly more hours so it was for more money and the decision i the reason i made that decision was because the store that i was in i was working with all my best friends and it was all well and good but i it was I was doing a lot of things that counteracted or I don't know the word but I was doing a lot of things that just didn't match up what I wanted in life so you know I was starting to make excuses and like oh yeah no it's fine I'll, I'll do that while we're out because I wanted to spend time with my friends and I'd get serious FOMO if we were all hanging like because we'd all be working together and then we'd be like let's just hang out after work and rather than me I wasn't I didn't have the discipline enough to be like no I can't I need to go home and do this so I started to like brush off things that I needed to do to grow my business and to, to grow my YouTube channel and it it was a decision that I needed to make I needed to be firm with and actually take action against that because um, it was for my future okay so November was the Empress and the Empress is like fertility creativity um, like nurturing all of that kind of stuff and in november for me that is where i had the switch with it with my business and really started to commit to my business to my youtube channel all of that kind of stuff that actually happened in november which is the month of the empress for me so i just think that is so insane um how kind of accurate most of the months were and this is like my monthly gratitude was the positive thing so there were some months where it was like the chariot there was a lot of conflict with me personally there and like i'd you know it was a lot of personal growth that went in on um in april yeah when i went to area quite a lot i remember feeling that conflict a little bit and kind of being a bit like Ugh. and then december so i am actually filming this in december so we haven't got to the end of the december yet to be able to give my monthly gratitude however it is the Queen of Swords for December, which I genuinely couldn't feel is more accurate to how I'm feeling at the moment. Um, and that is, you know, suffering, suffering with dignity and resignation. And that is kind of a little bit how I feel. Um, obviously in November I had the switch with my business where I really really committed to it. And because in the UK we went into a second lockdown, I had all of the time to be able to sort of operate and run my business full time because I wasn't working. The experience that I have had and I'm thankful for that I've had, especially the November lockdown um, and being able to really get that experience of what it's going to be like when I am, you know, running my business alongside my YouTube channel full time. Like that gives me so much clarity in the fact that that is exactly what I want to do and, um, you know, going back to work. Uh, although I'm very grateful for the fact that I do have a job and I do have that stability there, um, it was a little bit of a heartbreaking moment. I'm not going to lie about it, but I am very grateful for my job and I've learned a lot with the company that I'm with and all that kind of stuff. So I am very grateful in that aspect. Hey guys, okay, so this is literally Lily from the future editing this video and I didn't actually film an outro because I went into my 2021 spread but this video is getting a bit long so i'm going to do that in next week's video i'm going to show you guys my 2021 spread with my goal setting so this is the outro um thank you so much for watching this video i hope you guys really really enjoyed it and i will see you next week with my 2021 year spread and 2021 goal setting um i'd love to know what kind of you know goals you had for 2020 i know it's been a bit of a shit show of a year but i would genuinely love to know um you know your reflection of the year how it's gone any sort of like things that you're grateful for this year because let's try and focus on the positive and i'll see you next week with another video thanks bye